Hi Year 7, this is the first part, first video of the uh, drawing for our tonal drawing. So we're looking at, I've got my photo here, um, I've managed to put it on a, a larger device so I can see it a little bit better, um, but if you've got it on your phone that's absolutely fine. Um, we're just looking at creating a line drawing, um, so we're just looking for the basic kind of proportions to get um, them accurate onto our page. Now I can pretty much do mine pretty much the same size as this. If you're looking at your phone, you're going to need to sort of um, size it up a little bit. So what we're aiming for is something along the lines of that. So I've just got in uh, majority of my lines, I've got in where rough bits of kind of tone are going to go. So to get to that point from our beginning, I'm gonna look at my photo and I'm gonna judge sort of where things need to be on my page. So I can see here, that majoritively I've got my photo so the line down the middle goes right down the middle of my nose right down across through my mouth so I know that my parting which is kind of a center parting is going to be roughly starting kind of here so just looking at getting the right lines to begin with so just starting with some form of outline here roughly getting the chin into place so that's about there somewhere now I'm doing my lines really light at this first stage just to get the right lines in so that's the hairline and then I've got the eyes my cheek comes around Now I'm drawing lightly because then I can adjust anything that I want to. So I'm not happy with this line. So I will just go and rub that out. You'll notice that my camera is going to start shaking as I rub because it's on a tripod right next to it, just here. Um, and then just mapping in where things like the ears are going to go. So that comes in and I've got hair coming across there. I'm not doing too much detail. I'm just looking at roughly where things are placed so then judging the size of kind of the forehead so if that's the top of my hairline about here and it's sort of disappearing off the side there I'm then going to need to judge how big the forehead is so I'm gonna go I've got the little crease my little thinking crease there it's gonna be roughly there along with my eyebrow that's gonna kind of come here Similarly, my other eyebrows are going to be about there. And then looking at my eye, trying to map in that shape. Now, I purposefully picked this photo because I'm pulling a little bit of a funny expression just to try and bring out some of the lines in my face to uh, show a little bit more tone so the light c catches them a bit more. So just roughly getting things into the right place. Again, this side. Now this side's a little bit darker, but I'm still trying to map in where those sections are. It's purposefully a little bit darker so we can start building some tone when we come to adding that in. But at the moment we are just plotting in things, just plotting where uh, sections are first. And we'll add the tone in and mark making later on in the next uh, couple of lessons. I'm then going to get just my nose shape coming down there. Kind of comes out a little bit here where the light kind of catches it. And then I've got kind of a round end there. Making sure I'm getting rough sections in. Now it's a bit hard to see, but I can still see it the other side of the nose here. So. I'm just looking at that carefully. And as I'm drawing, I keep looking back at this, keep looking back at what I am drawing. So I'm getting that information in, sending that through my brain, right the way down to my hand. So we're still using our observational drawing techniques that we have learnt previously. And then just getting my mouth in there, roughly work out where that is, where the bottom lip is. And we'll add detail in later to make kind of sense of some of these lines. But just now mapping in roughly where different parts of the face are. 
So actually I'm going to change my chin slightly and bring it down slightly. I've got a really obvious dimple in my chin, which gives nice tone. So get that wrapped roughly mapped in and then as you can see there's plenty of other bits of tone that are going on in this side of the drawing so I'm not going to fill them in yet because that's what we're going to do uh, in next lesson but just mapping them out a little bit just so they fit I'm going to get this line in here just suggest the smile stretch that out a little bit I keep coming back and working at sections just to get them correct. So I've got this line here where my chin comes up where I've kind of got a bit of a fold in the neck. So we'll do that and then we'll change. That line's a little bit too long. So we'll just bring that in a bit. So we're just a basic kind of line drawing, just plotting in where rough things are. We're not going for detail not too much detail and we're not going for any kind of tone or any kind of shading yet. We're just roughly mapping in where those elements are so we get our features sorted and get the placement correct. Now obviously we don't really want a floating head so I will also get in roughly where my shirt collar comes to get that sorted there and same this side. And roughly get my tie in as well, just those rough shapes. That is what we're looking for for a line drawing. Um, trying to get our bits uh, accurate and trying to get just roughly some of those lines in. So then next week we can then start to add in all of the areas of tone. So all of the shading that we've got, various different darker tones, some mid-tones, where it starts to fade into some really light points as well. Um, so we're just trying to get all of those things um, mapped in roughly, so we're ready to go with that next week. Thank you.